Hello and welcome to the Airbrush Show from Scale War Machines. When it comes to model making, an airbrush is an essential piece of kit. So here at the Airbrush Show, we like to review the best products for model makers. Here's what we'll be road testing this time. For our first show, we thought we'd start with something that's really important, safety. And an essential bit of kit, a paint extractor. We generally use an extractor plus a face mask. And they're the two best ways to stay safe when you airbrush. An extractor takes the atomized paint from your airbrush that's projected into the environment and it sucks it out. In so doing, it's taking away all the particles and fumes and the unit should then vent it outside or away from the work area. Now, for a number of years, we used an entry-level item, a very basic extractor, and whilst better than nothing, it wasn't great. So we were keen to upgrade and luckily our friends at airbrushes.com were kind enough to provide a new extractor for review. The Spray Booth SB88 and it definitely represents an increase in power and capability from our previous item. So it came to us in a very big box and inside you had all the components. And here you can see us assembling it. You get the fan unit, the ducting or hose, the hood, turntable, and all the clips and fittings. As well, you get all the instructions and paperwork. It took us about 20 minutes to build, and you start with the hood, which clips together very neatly using little fold-back tabs. You then attach the metal fan housing, and the fan is a sort of cylindrical item. You then fitted the housing to the hood and then you add the filters. There's two types of filters. The front filter which is a big blue item and then there's a sort of hexagonal, octagonal one that goes behind it. The job of these two filters is to capture all the paint particles before they're either breathed in by you or blown out into the environment. We then added the feet at the rear. They screw into the housing and make it all sit level. Once it was set up, it was time to turn it on and get an idea of the power and the noise levels. Here you can hear the sort of noise level that you'd expect from this SB88 unit. And to get an idea of the power, you can see our quick test. The airspeed that sucked through the filters and expelled is visible here. We just took these tufts of grass and you can see them being flicked up and it's really quite powerful. It needs that power to extract all the fumes and all the paint particles. Our next test was pretty rudimentary, but we took a candle and uh, extinguished it. And you can see it's sucking the smoke here, doing a pretty good job of that. Now, often when you airbrush, you don't saturate a whole area with paint and fumes, but we thought we'd saturate this hood to see how it copes with a large volume of vapor. And you can see it does a pretty good job of clearing most of it. Now, of course, it's all well and good to do simple tests like that, but you want to see it in the heat of the action, and we've used it on a number of little projects that you'll see in the airbrush show. In each case, the SB88 easily extracted the paint. The noise levels were perfectly tolerable, and there's definitely a noticeable reduction in the airborne particles and fumes. It coped pretty well. Here you can see it with normal acrylics, and also with primers, and it did a great job with spray cans as well. If you've got any doubt about how much work the unit is doing, just take a look at what it's soaking up and sucking in, and here you can see what it's preventing you inhaling. We'll be continuing to use this and assessing it, but the first impressions are very good. So there's no question this is powerful and it's effective. There's more details about the specifics of cost and availability in the description down below. You can't put a price on safety, but this is doing a lot of the work to make your hobby safer. There are a lot more expensive extractors out there, and this sits comfortably in the middle price. That's all for now from the workbench. But here's a quick glimpse of some of our future programs that are coming up. That's all for now from the Airbrush Show. We hope you've enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more how-to guides from Scale War Machines. Bye for now.